This sounds strange, but it's not. Some middle school students in Racine are spacing out. <laughs> I've heard that. About 20 <laughs> kids at McKinley Middle School, one of their teachers is one of my best friends, have turned into astronauts and are spending the next two days in the space shuttle simulation. Angie Moreski went along for part of the ride. Mission Control the Viking One. Man. NASA would be proud. Students are manning mission control round the clock, keeping a close watch on the astronauts at the helm. Inside the shuttle, a 50-hour mission is underway. Only the weightlessness seemed to be missing as these students tackled problems just like the real shuttle crews. You definitely have a problem with your solar panels. And as the shuttle started to heat up, keeping cool was a key, but sometimes that was easier said than done. Uh, Ask them for the robot. Get, get the robotics officer on the phone. Let me talk to him. But they got the hang of it, using a robotic arm to move those solar panels. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And with that crisis over, it was back to monitoring and doing other experiments. And just like the real space shuttle astronauts, they eat space food. In this packet, they have everything from chicken to peas to rice, and for dessert, ice cream and peaches. But somehow, I don't think they cared for it much. Oh, really? <laughs> Those peaches aren't doing the trick, huh? <laughs> this is another McKinley astronaut crew that just finished their mission. How do you feel after 50 hours? I'm tired, but I feel good because I had a lot of fun. The shuttle mission to feel what it might be like to be aboard the Discovery. This is mission control. You want to take yet? They call their ship Viking. We are joining the red team in Racine as mission control begins reporting telemetry troubles to the space travelers. Heat shield. Heat shield's deteriorating. All right. Quick. Commander, go ahead. Mission control to Viking 1. We are getting dangerously high and abnormal readings. Crisis time. There's a problem with the heat shields or with the That's solar panels, now. depending on who you believe. Yep. Hey, these people have been up for hours and hours, man. Heat shields and solar panels start looking a whole lot alike. <laughs> we, uh, we need Ask them for the robot. Get, up there. get the robotics officer on the phone. Let me talk to him. We need the ro robotics expert on the phone. That's not a possibility. It's not a possibility. Tell me. Tell me. Make it a possibility. We need a possibility. Hey. Oh, wait a minute, I know how to do this. robotics officer on board. Yes, I remember how to do it now. Get that robotics officer up here. I want to talk to him. He's in command. They're doing 50 hours in a loop. Teachers, too. Great project. That's a project. wonderful idea. It really yeah. is. Students in Racine are spending the week in outer space. Well, sort of. Actually, they're in a simulated spacecraft in their own school. This voice, John Hoylman, has the story. Uh-oh. Emergency in outer space. Okay, our water supply is gone, our oxygen is down, what can we do? Don't worry, Mission Control is at the alert, analyzing the problem, providing quick instructions to end the emergency. Welcome to Viking 1, a simulated spacecraft built into an isolated section of McKinley Middle School. The Viking 1 simulation is a pilot program that began this morning and continues until late Friday. This crew of student astronauts will remain on board night and day until Wednesday. A second crew will finish off the mission. They can't leave the craft, but the young astronauts do have a few luxuries on board, like an exercise station, bathroom facilities have been built into the simulator, and there's a small kitchen area equipped with authentic freeze-dried space food. I wanted to see what it would be like in a real, in a real um, shuttle. It's just kind of fun to work with different experiments. The only bad thing is while these astronauts are stuck here in outer space, their fellow students are enjoying one of the nicest days we've had around here in a long time. Oh, and one more problem. There's no pizza delivery here in outer space. Just these dried up space peas. Somewhere over Racine, John Hoylman, News 4. Mmm, mm, space peas, my favorite. If you have an idea for a finishing touch.